Hey guys, today we're doing a product highlight on the Polaris Pro XP Turbo. So in the ECU programming, we're optimizing the fuel curve, ignition curve, we're obviously turning up boost. We're, we're turning the cooling fans on sooner and shutting them off later just to help keep things cooled down. Um, there's a high boost um, fan override. We've got those fans running all the time to help keep the intercooler cooled down. Um, two foot driving. Um, We've got that so you can drive with two feet all the time for racing applications or rock crawling applications. The stock setup, if you drag the brake and hit the gas at the same time for over so many seconds, puts you into limp mode. That's gone. Um, we raised the rev limiter to 9,200 RPM. Used to be at 8,800 RPM. Um, there was a stock speed limiter at 85 miles an hour. That's gone. Uh, seat belt limiters are disabled um, for guys running aftermarket harnesses. Um, and there's a, there's a misfire belt slip um, limiter in there. That softened up, so under hard acceleration, if it senses that the belt's slipping before, it would pull the throttle blade back on you and basically cut the power. We've softened that up some, and the torque limits are raised to allow for full power at all times. Now getting into the boost and the power side of things. So there's, there's four programs available to you on this setup. Um, stage one, it's 11 horsepower gain, runs on premium pump gas. We're adding a, a little over a half a pound of boost with that setup. Um, then we'll go into stage two. Stage two is a 14 horsepower gain. We're adding just over one pound of boost. And again, that's a 91 octane map. And then stage three, 18 horsepower. Uh, it's a little over two pound boost increase. That's a 91 octane map as well. And then stage four, this requires 100 octane race fuel. It's a 26 horsepower gain. And that's about a 3.1, just a little over three pounds of boost gain with that setup. So that, that's everything involved on the ECU side of things.